good. I'm excited. Oh, I'm not surprised. The premier, world premiere of your movie. It's pretty crazy. It's the first world premiere I've been to. And it's yours. And it's mine. Yes, that's a good first premiere to go to. It's certainly not a bad one. I'm curious because they obviously there's uh, this relationship between yourself, Rupert, and uh, the other writer whose name escapes. Yeah, well, there's two other writers, two very talented, esteemed writers, uh, Hossein Amini and John Lee Hancock, who came on after me. In terms of the history of it, I wrote the original script. I wrote it as a script, you know, seven or eight years ago, in the in the quiet uh, uh, solitude of my college dorm room. And uh, it floated around Hollywood for a while until someone decided to make it. Joe Roth, the producer, and Rupert came on board. And we spent sort of four or five months working with Rupert to kind of shape it, to kind of match his vision. And then other people came on board to, 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 uh, to shape it towards their vision as well. But it's all, it's all true to the sort of heart and the spirit of the story that I wanted to tell a long time ago, which is a darker, tougher, more muscular take on the Snow White fairy tale. How much of your original script is still in there? I would say, well, it's funny how the Writers Guild of America goes through and parses through and determines. So I think it was something like 60-something percent of it. Um, so it's a, it's a good amount. I go through and I count the lines of dialogue in the movie and, and see. But the important thing is that it's kind of the spirit. I mean, well, I wanted to tell a story where the Huntsman was a, a more of a character and to tell an action-adventure version of Snow White and the Huntsman, and thankfully... That's what they did. The thing that it really struck me when I was watching it was how close it resembled sort of some of the work of Studio Ghibli, the Miyazaki type. Sure, I, that's 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 not uh, that's not wrong. Uh, we were, and, and part of that may have been Rupert. We came. Rupert was really great about uh, establishing a lot of cinematic visual references and bringing those to the table. So there was that. Very obscure things like you know, Costa Rica films. Um, uh, uh, what else? Um, you know, a lot of Ridley Scott, um, Valhalla, the, the Nicholas uh, winning ref movie. Um, a lot of movies uh, that he brought to the table, and he really established, you know, as a screenwriter, it's kind of, you want to try to think visually, but sometimes it's hard to kind of get, you get trapped in the words and what's on the page, and a director can kind of help you open up and see a, a more visual, uh, rich world, and Rupert certainly did that. And this was your first project? It was my first project that's been made. I've, I've worked on a number of things, including a, I, I, was, I wrote a, a draft of the He-Man movie, which is not getting made, but we did write a draft of it, uh, based on the old toys. Um, so yeah, that, and then uh, I have another movie coming out uh, with uh, John Travolta and Robert De Niro called Killing Season. Very different movie, very small movie, but um, but uh, yeah, but this is the first. This is the first one that got made. So that seems to be completely out of the logical order. Surely, you, as a writer, you get this massive multi-million-dollar, well, hundred-million-dollar feature made, and then the smaller one. Yes, you would think that I would do a small one first, or a series of smaller ones, but this is a, what you call a what is it? A, a baptism by fire. In, in more ways than one. They kind of throw you in with the, and I'm, you know, relatively young writer, um, and uh, it was intense at times, but really rewarding and cool and fun. And, and that was just through dumb luck or really working hard, or? Uh, well, I would like to think that, well, everything in Hollywood is, is luck, to be honest. I would like to think that the script that I wrote was, was pretty good, and that that helped me kind of control my destiny a little bit. And I so wrote a script, and kind of then, if you have a piece of content that people respond to it gives you a little bit more power than you might usually have so we kind of leveraged that and got a great director and then pieces kind of fell in place and a really great producer by the way Joe Roth who said basically like if you buy the script you have to make it There's so many movies you scripts they buy and they develop them for years and never make the movie this one that they made and they said they would I didn't really even believe them but apparently they, they did make it because we're about to see it Either they have or they're really going, a, they're, they're putting on like, a lot of effort. It's like oh. the old producer's thing where it's all a scam, like an investment. Uh, no, I think, uh, uh, I think uh, it will, uh, I think it's a real movie. Okay, well, so. Thank you very much, Evan, and uh, enjoy it, sir. Thank you, sir.